for us, this is our job. We are the commentators, important, the players look good. And there you go, D4 on the board by Magnus, so he's absolutely correct. Fair play for Magnus. He sticks to D4, that was selected for him. D4, D5, Bishop F4, the London system. Adam Bliss, and he's yes. a real specialist in that. Yeah, actually, probably we have to zoom in. I'm not sure that yeah. we're gonna get the games, the, the moves in time. Yeah, so ideally, you just zoom in on Magnus's. Ah, oh, that's very classical, right? Very classical. Also, also. E6, Bishop D6, yes, C3, C5. It was Magnus's system with black, with Queen C7, Knight B7. I think we were commenting the Vorder Blitz in uh, St. Petersburg 2018 together, and he, he hit this the... against Sidipov. This against Cidipov. Right, bishop g3, and yeah, queen c7, early queen c7, and Please. Magnus goes knight e5. Planning to play f4 to support that knight? Yes. Well, I guess, yeah. So the, the all the, the previous kind of theory would be knight c6 without queen c7, then people would play bishop b5 and all this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so now it's... Yes, f4, so it's, uh, it's a stonewall, <laughs> with the bishop being on g3 instead of c1, yeah. Too early to put the knight on e4. Yeah. yeah. E1. E6. Yeah. I'm slightly surprised that Black put the knight on c6, not on d7. Yeah, because then when you go b6, bishop is you will have access to knight e4 move. While with knight on c6, this e4 square is. Well, maybe he'll go. But knight e7 at some point. Yeah, he will. Yeah, yeah definitely. That's sometimes what we do, what they do, yeah, knight e7 and speculating. Knight of five. This should be seven, okay. This should be four. four. Attacking that knight right away. Serving the knight on f6. Reminds me of some Magnus against Tomaszewski from Z. At some point, there was something very similar. And I think I remember, and even it looked like he doesn't have enough material to attack, and all of a but sudden he had. Yeah, yeah. It was Magnus, yes. He was like maybe the lights where bishops were swapped or something. So it looked, I remember it looked innocent, and then he won in the next five moves, maybe. Yeah, exactly. And against the professor himself, so. Yeah, 98. That was very impressive. All right, so now Black gets the idea of. Ah, well, F7 and F5. And F5. Oh. I want Stopping f6. Stopping f6. Yeah, but f5 comes. F5. Maybe queen h3 or queen goes to h3. So g4 is there. G4 so the knight will come. probably come back to f6. Yes. Knight Should. goes back to f6. And do we take the knight on f6? Just take it. Yes, the answer is yes. Now, yeah, rook takes and... Well, it makes a little sense to go g4 if it works. He went Magnus, for it. Yeah, Magnus thinks it does. Yes. It looks very promising. The knight on e5 is a monster. Bishop on b7 cannot really join the action. Bishop on d3. Knight on d2 is very mobile, can be activated. Knight df3. Rook g1 might appear as well. Rook h6. Okay, queen g3. g3. We don't like this rook on h6. No. We know this rook already. Rook g5 it might not have a very long life, actually. And bishop takes e5. Yeah, this is desperation. Yeah, he's, okay. get, he's getting outplayed. F E, F take G4. Takes G4. So Magnus just has all these open files on the king side. Queen takes, then what? Castle. He's gonna okay, castle rook queen F8. side at some point. Well, black at least gets some. some. But the rook is trapped on H6, right? The rook cannot move anywhere. That's a bad sign. Fair enough, yeah. Can we castle queen side here? Well, it's the most natural move, but to, yeah, H4. He wants to go maybe H5, make sure that rook can never move. So H4. I presume the king E2 somewhere. Maybe could yes. be even safer than castling. Exactly. Long, right? Because castling long would be like some knight B4 jumps. Yeah, B6 happens, so black is preparing some B5 counterplay, just in case if you castle long. Okay, I'm still betting on castles long. After E6? Uh, no. You don't think so? You think King E2? I don't know. I don't see him playing King E2, but maybe. King is safe on E2. Yeah, it is I mean, pretty safe. Yeah, the only danger is some CD, the knight takes E5, but if we can have this Queen G3 move with the pin. But oh, wow, you guys you guys guessed it, yeah. Okay, it was Miros. I don't want to take any credit for something which was not mine. This is Miros move, King E2. Um, and the f 
fact that we have <laughs> mentioned the rook is trapped. The rook is is trapped. Like, look, rook g1, queen g5. The king will have to go to h8, and this is and where we then, go rook f1. Yes. And the rook on h6 just... is terrible. B5, but... rook f1. So he's basically just playing against that rook on h6. Yeah. Yeah, takes, takes. Knight of G7, Knight of C. When we look at Magnus's game, chess looks so easy. It's so beautiful, yeah. This is not fair, actually. No, we are also trying to play our best, but it never works like this. Yeah, Black's position looks pretty close to collapsing with like Rook F7 or Knight F7 coming. So B takes B. He did not take. No, Rook F7. Rook F7. So Boom. Going straight for the kill. That's it, it's over. Seven. It's over, right? Yeah, there is no tactic, no trick. Oh, wait a second, uh, if, ah, well, the, the, the b7 bishop is hanging. It's hanging There's nothing as well. to discuss. Yes, yeah, so he has to take on f7, knight f7. And then we just capture uh, back on f7, on. we capture back, and the rook is still stuck. And lean back on our chairs, yeah, right? Because we know that the job is done. Well, oh, this was a very one-sided game. Good advertisement for the London. 97. When you see this, you feel like, hey, let me play the London myself, right? <laughs> Somehow it never works. Never works, yeah. H5. H5. Mixage. Oh. Inviting G6, then Queen F4 check wins the game. Bishop C6, Bishop E8, and hope to attack the H5 pawn, right? Oh. Yeah, finally Magnus created a weakness for his position. Ah, King D2, Bishop D1 setting up. I thought, okay, if he has to go for a defense. And if bishops on d1, knight f5, I mean, it's F8. still... You know, meanwhile, Ho Yifan is, is struggling against Mungunzu on the women's board. Oh, wow. Yep. If this game finishes, we can take a look at that. And no results are coming in yet. Bilgun has only 15 seconds left. King F7 back. Yeah, and the big board doesn't work there. You know. It doesn't, yeah. Yeah, so we can all... Big board from here. Magnus. He might start with King to A3. King goes to A3. And then he enters from there. Knight F5, Bishop G4. Four knight has to go back. King B2. Wow. Yeah, he's walking in on those dark squares. Wait. Well, but interesting that he did not play a5, yeah? He got f5. Ah, d5. Okay. Takes, takes, and queen d8, yeah. That's At it. the moment queen appears on d8, it, it's all over. Yeah, the queen entered. And he never let this rook out, right? <laughs> but okay, black is still... Kind of hang hanging by his Hanging, back, right? yeah. Queen c8, I guess, yeah? Attacking all. Oh. Long, yeah? Knight takes three, queen c4. <laughs> I mean, like them. Running out of squares. Bishop takes h5. People don't like to design, yeah, nowadays. Yeah. Mm, it's just a rook for a queen. Is there any tree, really? There is no, 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 no that's it. Just yeah, I was thinking something, you know. So. Okay. Oh, <laughs> wow. yeah, he will resign. Okay. Okay. So big win for Magnus. Duda has also won. You wanted to join. Yeah, let's go. Ho Yifan, Mungunzu. Yes. Here we have uh, it. Well, Ho Yifan has improved her position a lot. Now yeah, she's true. the one up upon. Okay. So